I've got a special guest today, fantasy football rapper. He and I are going to do a rookie mock draft for you guys, the top 12, and we're going to talk about our favorite picks. As you saw, we just did our top 12 rookie mock draft. Um, Nikhil Harry, I took number one, and I think he's going to be an absolute beast within one to two years. I think he'll start developing into a top four fantasy wide receiver in those one to two years. It'll take him a little time to get there, but we'll see flashes of it uh, as we go through his rookie year. But I, I love Nikhil Harry. I loved him before the draft. He was my number one overall player. He's definitely my number one overall player in New England. Thoughts on Harry, and uh, what pick did you like uh, most out of your selections? I love the Harry pick. Uh, I think he has all the tools to be a number one receiver. Reminds me a lot like Josh Gordon, similar size, 6'2", 6'3", 225 pounds, running 4'5", 40. There's really nothing he can't do, and he's just nasty. He goes up, and he gets the football, and, you know, in that, in, they're going to utilize him to the maximum to his maximum uh, ability, so love the pick. And as for me, guy right below him, David Montgomery, love where he landed in Chicago. I think Matt Nagy will know how to utilize his talents as well. And he's just got burst. He's got wiggle. He can catch the football. Very underrated in that aspect. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all if he's a top five running back, particularly in, that he went to the Bears. I love David Montgomery, man. He's Him and Singletary have kind of been neck and neck for me. Montgomery's got to go first because his situation for the now is a lot better. Um, but I think Devin Singletary is a player that people need to keep an eye on because I think he could be uh, a top 5-10 to 10 running back in the NFL within a couple of years. They'll ease him into the lineup. I think they could unleash him by midseason, but 22 rushing touchdowns in 2019, uh, 25 total scores, 1,900 rushing. He reminds me of Alvin Kamara. But David Montgomery has almost as much wiggle, and both of them are tackle-breaking machines, so I love both those backs. Um, I think people are very, very, very much underrating this 2019 rookie running back class. I think we, we could have one, if not two, top five to ten running backs for the future in fantasy football. Yeah, I like um, I like Devin Singletary, but I also have some concerns about him uh, because he did play against lesser competition. He's a little bit slower than I like my running back to be. And I do like him in Buffalo because I think he'll have an opportunity. But TJ Yeldon, they, who they just signed, I'd imagine they're going to make him the third down back. So I think his catches will be kind of limited, but there is some upside with that pick. And, and as for me, um, another pick that I like uh, was Whiteside going to the Eagles. Another situation that's ideal. Jeffrey's often injury prone. He's getting up there in age. And I think he's kind of like in that mold. And I think the Eagles with um, Doug Peterson, they do a lot better utilizing their receivers than they do their running back. So I know I have him higher than a lot of people, but I think if you draft him, um, you're going to be quite pleasant. You're going to be pleasantly surprised with the results that you get. I love Miko Hardman, I think he's in a great spot in Kansas City. I've seen him get ranked really high. He's just as quick, I think, as Terry Kill. He has like 4 3 3 speed. Um, looks like a great route runner. Uh, everything on film screams that he could be good with Patrick Mahomes feeding him the football. Um, that's half the battle on fantasy football and becoming an NFL star is situation, and his situation is really, really good. And then Daryl Henderson, Todd Gurley owners are not, I think, seeing the writing on the wall uh, according to his ADP or projected Todd Gurley owners and people that own him in Dynasty refusing to trade him away. Daryl Henderson is a very, very good running back. Looks like he's been shot out of a cannon every time he's running the ball. He's a workhorse despite being a smaller type back. Fits perfectly into that Rams offense. And uh, I think Henderson could be a real find for people bargain shopping for a potential top 10 running back hiding inside the, the second tier of running backs from this 2019 rookie running back class. Yeah, Henderson, again, he's another one. I think it's going to take a girly injury, um, you know, but the thing I like about him is I like players on potent offenses. So if he would have been anywhere else, I don't think we'd be talking about Henderson, to be quite frank. But the fact that he is on the Rams, if Gurley gets hurt, he's going to be in that RB1 contention just based off the offense alone. But for me, I actually would like somebody like Justice Hill. I think he has higher upside. The guy is a freak of... Uh, of an athlete and um, who knows in Baltimore they like to run the football Ingram to me is a little overrated so he might just get an opportunity whoever drafts Justice Hill might 
he has the potential to be as crazy as this sounds right now in RB1. And, and LJ Scott actually signed with them as well. So there's a crowded backfield, a really good backfield. Yeah, I was really high on Ingram heading into the draft. I, I do admit I'm a little worried at least more so than I was before about Ingram's value, um, even in 2019, now that there, there's kind of a, a more cloudy situation going on there. I still like Ingram if the value's right. If his ADP drops good enough, uh, I'll definitely be investing, but you make good points there. Uh, any final thoughts on any of the players you want to toss out? Any gut instincts you got? Um, I think I think Kyler Murray can, can be like that Mahomes type player where you don't really look at him as a quarterback. You look at him as an elite fantasy fit football player. One of those guys that could win you on any given week. What I try to tell my followers is you want as many home run hitters as I like to call them as it doesn't matter the position. One of those players like an AB, like a Julio that could win it for you. They can at any given moment, they could get 40 or 50 points on a week. And I think Kyler Murray is that special where he can be that guy. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of, you know, waiting for the quarterback. But there are exceptions to that rule, one being Mahomes. And Kyler Murray may be one of those exceptions. Fantasy football rapper, guys, make sure you follow him on Instagram. Make sure you check him out on YouTube. A good guy, good content, very experienced guy. Awesome mock draft. I appreciate you mocking with me. And it's, it's funny, man. Looking at the board, I could redo it. In a, a, a five minutes from now, and it would change for me. Totally. And I think it's so funny when people uh, don't, they call you out when you move a guy up and down, you know, day to day. But the honest truth is, um, the dust is, has, hasn't settled yet. Um, well, so, you break news. Like, actually, um, don't mean to cut you off. I just got a message right now that uh, McVay just said he wants to run more two back formation. So you're always getting new news. And those who are not willing to adjust are going to be left behind. So if we change our minds, it's not because we're not firm in our stance. It's that we get new information, and that's why you always want to be up to date in the latest. Break, oh. Breaking news, Todd Gurley might bust in 2019. You heard it here first. <laughs> All right, well, I appreciate you coming on. All right, buddy. Special thanks to the Fantasy Football Rapper for coming on. And as always, follow and subscribe the Fantasy Football Show on YouTube and Instagram. Thanks to you guys. We're growing super fast. Let's keep it going.